guys welcome to the channel in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is unique paths 2 so this question is the continuation to the previous problem unique paths i'll leave a link to that problem in the description box below or you can find the video also in the top right corner i card so please do that question and then come to solve this question which will make it easier so similar to that question we are given an input array of n by n matrix called grid where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns initially a robo is placed at the top left corner and we have to reach the bottom right corner and in each move the robo can move either one step to the right or one step to the bottom it can't move diagonally so inside this question we are given an input array called obstacle grid so zeros denote where there is no obstacle and one denotes where there is an obstacle so there is an obstacle in the middle row and middle column which has been denoted by one so whenever you tackle an obstacle you can't pass it and continue with that path for example when you start when you go one step to the right and when you try to go one step down you find an obstacle so you can't continue with that path you can go only to the right from here and similarly here when you're here you can't go to the right you find an obstacle so to continue you have to go down and then proceed so let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved i've taken the same example they've given us so this is the input given to us so the input is a matrix telling us the location of the obstacles the obstacles are denoted by ones so there is one obstacle in the middle row middle element so this is the obstacle here so wherever you see an obstacle you can't go past through that cell to form the path and in each iteration this robo which is starting at the top left can go one step to the right or it can go one step to the bottom it can't go one step diagonally so please take a look at the preceding problem unique paths i've explained the algorithm and how the dpra will be filled so in that video there were no obstacles and one such path to reach the end would be this but in this case you can't use this path because there is an obstacle in this cell so once you encounter an obstacle you can't move forward so to solve the question we have to create the dp array of the same length as the obstacle grid given to us so this is m by n right so this will also be m by n m denoting the number of rows and n denoting the number of columns so the number of ways you can reach the first cell is one always so dp of 0 comma 0 will start with one and the number of ways to reach the end of the first row will also be one because you can only reach this cell from here and if this is one this will also be one similarly as the robo can move only right and down the number of ways it will reach the bottom left is also one because you reach this cell from here only you can't reach from here as the robo can't move to the left so if there is one way to reach this cell from here so this will also be here from here zeroth row and the zeroth column will be our base to form the rest of the dp array so in this example there is no obstacle in the zeroth row and zeroth column so we filled all the rows with ones if there was an obstacle here so you can stop filling that row and break the loop so this would be our input array so that will mean this will be zero and this will also be zero and there is no way you can reach that cell from the top because there is an obstacle here but in our original example there is no obstacle in the 0th row and 0th column so we fill that row and that column with ones now we use the 0th row and 0th column to fill the rest of the dp array here now we start our iteration from the first row and the first column to fill the rest of the dp array the rule is that if you find a one inside the obstacle array you fill that cell with zero so you find an obstacle here at one one so you fill it with zero now you move further you start here so you can reach this cell from here and here so you add the values present in that cell so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and now you can reach this cell from here and here so this will be 1 plus 0 again 1 and you can reach this cell from here and here so you add the values from those cells and now we reach the bottom right and we filled our dp array so our result will be present in the bottom right cell of the dp array so whatever is present inside this cell will be accessed and returned as the output so 2 is the output for this case now let's take a look at the code and see how the steps are being implemented coming to the function this is the function given to us and this is the input array obstacle grid of m by n length so let's find the number of rows and number of columns so m is the number of rows you can find the number of rows by applying the length method on the input array and the number of columns is denoted by n you can find out by finding the length of the first row which will give you the number of columns now we have to fill our dp array for that i'm going to create a dp array of length m by n this will also be the same length as the obstacle grid so we need to fill our dp array for that we have to fill our 
base rows and base columns so this is the first column and this is the first row we have to fill it with ones and use it as a base to fill the rest of the dpra so with this we are filling the first column with ones if you find an obstacle in a first column you can break it for example if there is an obstacle here there is no way you can come to this cell because you can't move left from this cell you can only move right so if you find an obstacle here you can break it so if you don't find an obstacle you fill that cell with ones so like in this case there is no obstacle here fill it with one there is no obstacle here fill it with one so this for loop is for iterating through the columns and we fill the first row with ones so if you find an obstacle in the first row break it if you don't find an obstacle fill it with ones so here in this case you don't find an obstacle fill it with one you don't find an obstacle it will fill it with one and you reach the end so you come out of this for loop now you have ones in the first row and the first column now we have to fill the rest of the dpra so that is this part so to fill the rest of the dpra we have to start our iterations from the first row and the first column so this is the first row and this is the first column so you start a iteration from here so if you find an obstacle in that grid if there is one inside the obstacle grid we have to fill zero for that dpra and if there is no obstacle like in this case you have to fill it with the sum of the left adjacent cell and the top adjacent cell so you are doing that here you are filling it with the left adjacent cell and you're filling it with the top adjacent cell you sum it and insert that value here so this cell will be filled with 0 plus 1 so 1 will be filled in this part so this for loop will fill the rest of the dpra and as i said you find a final answer in the bottom right corner so access the value at the bottom right corner by accessing m minus n row and n minus 1 column so you return the value present inside that cell now let's try to run the code the test cases are running let's submit the code there you have it, a solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of m into n. m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. And the space complexity is also O of m into n because you're using a DP array to find the output. You can also do it in constant space, but you have to use the obstacle grid as the DP array. Do try that approach and let me know in the comments if I have to make a separate video on that. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.